Kimberly at the Fat Quarter Shop and today I'm going to show you how to make the Summer Breeze Quilt. It's a low price pattern available at Fat Quarter Shop and I'm going to give you all the tips today. What you need is two and a half yards background, 40 fat quarters, and 5 eighths yard binding. You also need a kaleidoscope ruler by Creative Grids and an eight and a half inch square ruler. So let's get started. So after you've purchased your PDF pattern, you're gonna cut all of your fabrics and label them with your alphabeties. Your first step is to sew a fabric B and a fabric C strip together and press your seams open. You're gonna make a total of 80 strip sets and you're just gonna do scrappy. It's a scrappy quilt, have fun, place the fabrics wherever you want them. Then you're gonna take your Kaleidoscope Creative Grids ruler. You're gonna line the tip up at the top. We're gonna cut. Now, I cut towards myself. A lot of people don't like to do that, so if you're not comfortable, definitely don't do it. I've just been quilting a long time and I'm comfortable with it, but you should always keep your blade closed. So this is going to be an extra little piece. We're gonna discard this. But we're gonna keep this triangle and we're gonna make more. And again, you're just gonna line up the top. You're gonna discard this and you're gonna keep this beautiful triangle and you're gonna cut one more So, from that strip set, we cut three triangles. You're gonna make a total of 240 triangles. Now we're gonna cut our background triangles. From each of your background strips that you've already cut, we're gonna place them in half, and we're gonna do that same technique. We're gonna discard this. Now on this one, we're gonna keep all of our triangles. So from each of your strip, you're gonna get 14 background triangles and you're gonna make a total of 224. So we're gonna start our blocks, and I just wanted to show you, this is what our block is gonna look like before we trim it down. We're gonna be sewing with the cream RFL thread using a quarter inch seam allowance and a 2.0 stitch line. All of these seams are biased, so we're gonna also be using a lot of pins. So we're gonna start by making these two. We're gonna have a print triangle and a background triangle. Pin it together. I'm gonna use a lot of pins since this is all bias. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna sew from the center to the outside. Because we're gonna be trimming this down, your points on the outside do not have to be perfect, but as you can see, these points do need to be perfect and that's why we will always be starting with our seam in the center. Now we're going to press our seam and set it. Just then I'm going to press to one side. And now we're going to press it open. So when I press open, I usually press to one side, finger press, and then just press. And when you're working with bias seams, you don't wanna like move your iron a lot, just a little bit. So that's nice and flat. And you're gonna see this funny thing going on right here. You're just gonna ignore that, because again, we're gonna be trimming the block down. For each of the blocks you're using, you're gonna have four of these units, and you're just gonna make sure you like your scrappy placement. And then we're going to be sewing half units together. So you're gonna put these two together and you're gonna make one and one. To do that, you're gonna put right sides together and you're going to just make sure your seams meet up perfectly. 
and put a pin in right at the point. Put a couple pins out here. And we're gonna sew again from the point to the outside. So I'm gonna press the same way. Set my seam, press to one side, and then press open. And when you look, you're gonna see how nice and perfect that point is. Now we're ready to put our block together and I've got a special tip for you. I'm gonna put your block right sides together and I'm gonna poke a pin. So right here, you can see where your seam intersects your point. You're gonna poke the pin right in there. You're gonna look, make sure it's right in that seam and it is. Then you poke your pin right in this point. Put your pin straight up like that Push your fabric down and put a pin. That way it doesn't move. And again, you're on the bias, so it's gonna be wavy. When I'm pinning, I always pin on a flat surface so that everything lays nice and flat when you get to your machine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew from here to the end. And I learned this from Aditta Sitar. So when you do that, you're gonna see the stitches from here to here. You're gonna open it, and you're gonna make sure you really like the way the points lie. Then you're gonna close it up, flip it over, and pin some more. And then you're going to start stitching before your previous stitches and stitch all the way to the end. And you're gonna have your nice, beautiful block. Okay, now we're gonna trim our block. We're gonna trim it to eight and a half inch square. So I'm using an eight and a half inch Creative Grits ruler. This ruler has white lines that go down the end. So you kinda of wanna center that in your center of your triangle. And then you're gonna put your point right on this circle. Now we're gonna use our Matilda rotating mat. I'm gonna cut on two sides and I'm gonna spin, nothing is going to move. And I'm gonna cut the last two sides. And you've got a perfect block. And I always love when you trim down a block because the accuracy is perfect and your final quilt is gonna look nice and beautiful. You're gonna make 56 blocks. So when you're putting your blocks together, I've got some tips for you. You're just gonna place them right sides together and where your white triangles are, you're gonna wanna pin in those intersections by just making sure your seams line up. So you're just going to pin really close right here. And I think, you know, the biggest thing with this quilt is cutting accurately, pinning, and pressing accurately. And so then I'll pin at each end. So we've got everything pinned. And you're just gonna stitch straight across. And with these pins here, it should come out perfectly. You're gonna place all of your blocks seven wide by eight long. And by having no sashing, you're gonna have a beautiful kaleidoscope effect in this quilt. I had a blast showing you all of my techniques for working with bias seams and definitely, you know, make sure you're pinning and it's going to come out beautiful. And of course, this quilt will look great with any fabric. So I can't wait to see what you do. So share with me on social media and I'll see you next time.